Hey, what is going on guys? It's me, Quinkin, and welcome back to another Atletico Madrid career mode episode. And I asked you guys in the previous episode on which other players I should buy with my $7 million budget. And Shakiri was one that a lot of you wanted, but he is going to cost a lot of money. So I just took him off my short list and I decided to inquire for Anan Yanuzai, Anwar El Ghazi, Zakarai Bakali. You guys all suggested these players and I did put some of these players in here that I really wanted in my team. Victor Fischer was another one, a 20 year old left winger uh, from the Dutch league and the biggest prospect himself, Memphis Depay. I don't know how much this guy's gonna cost. A lot of you guys suggested him in the comment section down below and Memphis Depay, I hope he doesn't cost a lot of money so he can come to Atletico Madrid. But we do have a very important game, the first game of our career mode series and it's gonna be versus the big giants, Real Madrid themselves. And they're playing with a 4-3-3 and I was curious of which midfielders they were gonna use and they're actually gonna use Tony Kroos, James Rodriguez as a cam and Sami Kadira. I thought they were going to use Luka Modric, but they decided to use Kadira in this game. We do go with our standard squad with the 4-2-3-1 to Ron as a cam. I really want to see how he's going to play in that position in today's game versus Real Madrid for the first leg of the Super Spanish Cup. And Real Madrid were already starting things off. They wanted to score a goal so freaking fast and our defense was so shaky during this game. But James Rodriguez with a header. And it just goes over the bar. I want to thank God because that was the closest chance that Real Madrid had in the first half. They did have other great chances, but Moya was doing so good in goal. This guy was taking out some very good shots, and our defense was still very shaky. Going into the later minutes of the first half, and we did finally get a chance with a corner kick. Koke centers it in, and nothing happened. This was a very difficult game versus Real Madrid. They do get another chance and I had to change things up. I decided to take out Koke and put in Alessio Serchi. Koke wasn't playing that well and Serchi can actually play as a right winger and he has good pace and it actually proved to be a good substitution. As soon as he got in, Juan Fran centers it in and Serchi heads a ball in. It just went over the ball and Raul Jimenez had a very good opportunity and that was the closest opportunity that we had to winning this game but the objective of this game was to come out of here with a draw because it's not so easy to win in the Santiago Bernabeu and that would give us an advantage in the second leg of this Super Spanish Cup. Now we got the amounts that each club wants for their players and Jesus Christ I'm only going to be able to afford two players from this list. Anan Yanuzai is actually going to be 16 million. That's a lot of money. I cannot afford that. We also got Anwar El Ghazi who's 6.5 million. That is a pretty good signing that we can make. Zakari Bakali is 1.2 million and Jesus Christ that's actually pretty cheap for a player of his potential. We also have Victor Fisher who is 17.5 million. I'm not even going to go for him because that is too much money and he did get a downgrade uh, from last year. Memphis Depay, the player that all you guys wanted is going to be worth 51.5 million dollars. I cannot afford that. I know he's a great player and I knew that inquiring for him was going to be a bad idea because that just brought me down because Memphis Depay was a player that you guys wanted, it was a player that I wanted and I had to release a young player that we had in our team uh, so that we can make way for a new winger uh, to join our club. Now Zachary Bacali, I did put a bid in for 1.1 million which was going to be a bargain uh, to get this player into our club but I also said that did put a bid for 3.6 million so I had to go back and give him another offer so I give him an offer of 3.7 million hopefully Bacali can join hopefully PSV accept our offer and hopefully he can join our squad but I did have to switch out and rotate the squad for our next leg of the Super Spanish Cup and I did decide to change the formation to a 4-4-2 and I wasn't so satisfied with the 4-2-3-1 and the way we were playing in the previous game. So I did decide to change the formation and put Mandzukic and Griezmann as the two strikers. I moved Turan to the left mid and I took out Verratti and put in Mario Suarez because Verratti got a yellow card in the previous game and I didn't want him to get a red card and leave me with only 10 players on the pitch. So those were the substitutions that I made. But now let's look at Real Madrid's squad. 
they did make a lot of substitutions themselves. They took out Carvajal and put in Arbeloa. They also put in Fabio Contrao and they put Chicharito as the striker. But going into this game, this 4-4-2 really did help out. Arda Turan with a very good chance. Mandzukic with a header, a great corner kick. And we went into the second half tying nil nil this was a very good first half from us but going into the second half barely in the 57th minute Godin tries to get in the way of the shot Ronaldo gets the rebound and he heads it in we were down 1-0 and then the 63rd minute you gotta be kidding me we had a great first half and I thought we were gonna win the game but Cristiano Ronaldo makes it 2-0 he is too freaking good. He made it 2-0 and all the hope we had went down the drain. We lose the Super Spanish Cup and this was one of the worst defeats of my career as manager. We lose versus Real Madrid 2-0 and we do lose the Super Spanish Cup final. And this was very disappointing because it looked like we were going to win the game in the first half. We were completely dominating Real Madrid. The 4-4-2 really did work out, and that made our squad very confident. We were playing some great football, but in the end, we couldn't put the ball in back of the net, and that's what matters. Real Madrid put all their effort into scoring two goals, and they did have three shots on target, so they were very clinical, and we do lose the Super Spanish Cup. It could have been our first taste of silverware, but we do just fall flat. And we do lose our first chance of getting a title into this industry. But we do get some news that Antoine Griezmann is going to be out for three weeks. So I have to change out the squad. And I decided to keep the 4-4-2 formation. Because I wasn't satisfied with the 4-2-3-1. The 4-4-2 let us play so much better. So I put Serchi as the second striker. And I moved to Ron to the left. And I kept the squad as it was. Because we played so well. And we do have some news that... PSV took another offer for Zachary Bacali so I had to go for another player and Anwar El Ghazi was the second person on my list a 72 rated player from Ajax and I put in a bid of over six million dollars but we also get some news that another club wants to put a bid in so we had to put another bid but there is a problem here every time I put in a bid another club puts their bid in and they win the player that I want so I have a question for you guys and I decided to make a straw poll for you guys to vote should I get Anwar El Ghazi or should I get this player that is on loan his name is Oliver Torres should I get this guy instead it would cost less it would cost around a million dollars to get him back into our squad and he's a 74 rated winger so that is a question of the day should I get Anwar El Ghazi for over six million dollars or should I just bring back my player on loan uh, so that he could be a part of our squad please go vote and I will remind you guys in the comment section down below about the straw poll the straw poll will be in the link down below I will leave a link in the description so please go vote I need your help but if you guys did enjoy this episode remember to leave a like and a comment subscribe if you're new I take out a lot of content Field 15 career mode is what I'm based on but hopefully you guys did enjoy it I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time